welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Shivam Vijay and today in this video we are going to demonstrate the 3 point DC starter. 3 point DC starter is generally used for running the DC shunt motor in a smooth way. In this complete demonstration video we will see the complete construction of a 3 point DC starter. I will explain you one by one all the components of this starter and later on we will do a practical demonstration also. Let us move on to the all explanation of complete 3 point DC starter followed by the experiment. So, this is our 3 point DC starter which is used for running the DC shunt motor. These are the 3 terminals over here pres presented for connecting the line terminal for armature and for field. This is the handle over here. I will explain you the inside circuitry also. The DC shunt machine is also available over here. This is the armature winding of this DC shunt machine and this is the field winding of this DC shunt machine. We will connect both of the armature and field as per the circuit driven in the user manual. So, this is our user manual in which all the details and theory of this uh, 3 point DC starter is provided. The circuit diagram is also provided over here. So, that using this and explaining this circuit diagram you can connect the DC starter with the DC machine and run the DC machine as per given in the user manual. So, here now I am going to explain you all the parts of this DC 3 point starter. We are going to start with this starting resistances. The resistances are brought out on this copper terminal provided on the front panel. These are the resistance in the increasing form. First resistance is the higher value and the last resistance is the lower value. So, that current at the higher will be lower and the current at the lower will be higher. Similarly, this is a no volt coil which is directly provided supply with the spring connected to the handle and the line voltage is directly connected to the L terminal over here. The L terminal or the L terminal is connected through the over volt overload current coil from which the other end of overload coil or overload release coil is connected to the spring. So, our circuit is completely connected through overload coil. So, that in any case of overload condition this overload coil get energized and magnet form here and the tripping lever will be automatically goes upwards. So, when in upwards condition the overload coil goes short circuited and the supply to the complete circuit will be cut off and we got the trip condition and as the supply got cut off the no volt coil at where the magnetization is formed through the field current the soft iron piece of this handle will be detached through the non, -magneti non magnetization condition over here. So, when we gradually increase the resistance and reaches here at this point the magnetization through this uh, no volt coil will attract this handle and continuously hold this for running the motor. In any case of supply fail failure the magnetization goes off and in by spring force it is retracted. So, now we are going to demonstrate the connection of this 3 point starter. For this following the manual or the circuit diagram we can do the connection easily. So, we will going to start with line current. This is a DC supply over here which is used for providing the supply to this DC motor. The output positive and negative are described by the color symbol. So, we are going to connect a red, red patch code to the line terminal. Then we will connect blue patch code through armature to the armatures one end as described in the user manual. Then from the field current or the field coil the F terminal going to connect it to the field one. From other side we are up to short circuit both the terminals. So, let us use a red patch code. So, that both the other end of this armature and field coil goes to the negative of the DC supply. So, we need a longer patch code. 
so we will connect a red patch code for providing the ground also the black one is right now not available so this is the all connection that we have to perform over here now i will provide the input ac supply to this dc bridge rectifier here so i have connected the ac supply over here now firstly we will check the dc voltages using the multimeter so now as i connect the multimeter to the output of this dc bridge supply we can get 300 volt on the multimeter so now we are ready to start the dc motor using 3 point dc starter now i will gradually increase this handle position to the right side and then we will see the motor gets started slowly increasing by the current here as i pull this uh, handle towards right side it gets attracted using the no volt coil and it is in continuously hold position so in any case when the supply gets disconnected like this motor gets stopped and handle get automatically retracted using the spring force as the supply get disconnected no volt coil supply and the magnetization goes cut off so, so the handle uh, by which the soft iron core is magnetized and attracted to the towards the no volt coil it gets detached now we will see the same circuit in the open condition i am just using this to explaining you how the no uh, trip lever works to cut off the handle do not use this Uh, starter in this condition ever now i will again start the motor here you can see the soft iron core gets attracted using the no volt coil here whenever the overload condition arises current flowing through the overload coil is higher the magnetization force generated across this coil and this trip lever get attracted so when it gets attracted this coil got short circuited and supply will be cut off in the complete circuit the same will be doing as described here you can see as the tripping lever connects to this other end of this uh, no overload coil this cut off the complete supply get demagnetized and retracted the lever to its home position that's how in the short circuit condition the dc 3 point starter saves our motors so that was the complete demonstration of three point starter i hope you got to understand how the three point starter work what is the construction of this three point starter and how we can get start and use this three point starter for the dc shunt motors do like share and subscribe our channel and also for more queries you can contact to tesca technologies private limited for any type of support thank you